Hi there, welcome to another Atlassian Demo Den, where you'll learn about the latest updates with our open DevOps solution for Jira. My name is Andrew Pankovicius and I'm a senior product manager on the team. Today we're going to talk about Jira's new progressive delivery capabilities within the releases hub, purpose built to help software teams plan, track and ship together. Through a unified plane, development, product, marketing and support teams can one, get granular visibility into the, into the issue progress to measure release readiness accurately. Number two, leverage automation to develop release notes quickly. And three, attach related work to the releases tab to help build a shared understanding about where the team's at at any point in time. The features I'm showcasing today are available to all Jira software cloud users. So let's dive right in. So now that we're inside the releases hub, let's meet Fran. He's a product manager who's not too sure about how to run an effective release, but fortunately, the new progressive delivery capabilities inside of the releases hub can help him out. So at the very top here, he sees that he can now plan a release inside of the releases hub. And clicking the add item button, Elastium has a recommended set of items that likely should be completed before a release goes out to market. Having a look at these, Fran observes that a monitoring dashboard would be something that would make sense for his team to prepare prior to going live. So he'll add that to the release. In addition, he might want to add a blog post as well. So setting these placeholder states up, Fran can actually create JIRA issues associated to each of these pieces of work and assign the right person to them as well, such as his content designer to write the blog post. When they're ready to do the work, these assigned team members, now collaborators on the release, can later link resources and add it to the upcoming release. So here we can add the right blog post. That changes the status and in progress on the underlying JIRA issue, making sure that we can always see where delivery tasks are being done. Next up, let's try and have a look at where our development work is also at. So leveraging the release automations, which are now included inside the releases hub, Fran can make sure that all issues that are in progress and without a fixed version can be added to this version. So doing that makes sure that now his issues table is fully populated. Now, a unique element that we've added into this table is that each issue has a full view now of the software development lifecycle. We can see its issue state all the way through to some of its source control features, such as its pull request status, if it's merged or not, its deployment status is in production or staging, and then also how far have those feature flags been rolled out? In this case, we see some at 20, 50, and 100% being rolled out to customers. If you're yet to use feature flags inside of Jira, you can easily add them to any of the underlying issues by hovering over an issue and clicking the add button. Here you'll see some of our supported partner feature flag tools, such as Launch Darkly, Split, and Harness, where you can easily install them into your Jira instance within two clicks. Now, let's go back to our release. Now that we've got our de development and also our delivery tasks in progress, we want to make sure that we can associate release notes to our upcoming release as well to get ready to go live. Clicking on that, we'll see that we can actually now create release notes inside of Confluence as well. And leveraging powerful formatting options, we can also include any of our custom fields into our release notes. And once we create them in Confluence, we can further edit them using the full capabilities of Confluence to make sure that they can meet internal or even external customer needs. With the full release in swing, we want to make sure that the moment that we set this to release, we can again leverage some release automations and make sure that Slack is notified in the right channels when this item becomes released. So let's set that one up now. Finally, to close off our demo today, as we've gone through a number of features, an upcoming capability is that you'll be able to assign reviewers and approvers to an upcoming release meaning that in large enterprises which might require sign-offs before things go live to customers, that all the checks and balances have been done properly. Next up, we're going to include an even more detailed progress tracker in regards to the granular tasks, issues, and requirements that go into a release, even allowing you to set up your own progress markers, such as the percentage of issues that have associated feature flags rolled out to more than 70% of customers. We're going to put this into your control. Great, and that closes off our overview of progressive delivery for today. We're excited to see progressive delivery within the releases hub finally come live and get into the hands of our customers. For more information on feature flag integrations with Split, Launch Darkly, and Harness, see the link in the description. We've also included tutorials to help you get started there.
Additionally, we have a community group for those interested in progressive delivery and adopting these new ways of working within their own teams. The link for that is also in the description. Finally, we're really keen for your feedback in the comments below and thanks so much for watching. Bye.